Hello there ladies and gentlemen, Sable here and welcome back to another video and this one we're going to talk about gems which are arguably the most important currency in the game. And we're going to talk about how to get them and I'm going to divide this video in like three different tiers because there's people who want to do the minimum effort for the maximum amount they can get for that minimum effort there's people who want to put some effort in there but don't go too hard and there's people who want to try hard to unhealthy amounts so i'm going to try to satisfy each crowd so we're going to go work our way up from what you can get with the minimum amount of effort and how to get that what you can do if you want to put in some work and what you can do if you want no life this game well that being said if you enjoyed this video make sure to subscribe after this i think i'm gonna drop a video about how to actually spend the gems and yeah let's get into it one more mention before i actually get into it i'm not going to count the pass the ingesting mobile pass because it's not always there so it's something that's not reliable and i'm not going to count the specific event calendars which are going to come from christmas and other events because they are not like guaranteed to give you gems and they are not always there also as far as the achievements goes I'm going to count dailies but no achievements because achievements are not repeatable so we're looking for repeatable processes that you can apply every month. As you'll see in this video I'm trying to give a lot of benefit of the doubt to the uh, amount that you can get. It's not sure if that's the best sort but I'm going to try to approximate it to a lower margin to, to make sure that it's doable. First up we have the daily logins. You have here a lot of different gem values and as far as I've seen this is consistent. You're going to get kind of the same things every month. So uh, we're going to add everything that is in here up and it's going to result in 400 gems a month. That's pretty straightforward, right? You just log in, you click this, it even appears as you open the game. No, if, no effort required. And if you even miss a day of this, you can like watch an ad to get that day back, I guess, if you're down to do that. Now, as far as dailies goes, you're going to be able to get every single day 60 gems from here. One from simply logging in and clicking this thing over here, and the other one for uh, participating in soul rates. Look, if you think participating once in soul rates disqualifies this from being minimal effort, why are you even playing the game at this point? What's the point of even playing the game if you can't even play one soul rate fight a day? Like, look. I don't think it's that severe to ask you for the minimal effort to play one sorry fight, so I'm going to actually count it. There's going to be 60 gems every single day, and in a month it's going to be on average, obviously depending on the amount of days in that month, 1,800 gems. So we already got a decent amount of gems from just clicking stuff and just playing one soul rate fight. But with the operations, you could try hard this a lot. You could put them on the lowest time possible, you could upgrade them all the way to level 20 and you could just log into the game every like 20 minutes and refresh them and get a lot of gems that way. But who's got time for that? Who's gonna do that for a damn video game? Like if you're doing that, I'm not sure it's the healthiest thing you could do with your time. Just, just putting that out there. We're going to assume that you're just kind of refreshing them from time to time and you don't even have them to level 20. Again, with level 20 of the operations, you're definitely gonna get the benefit out of it, but uh, on average, after six months, you're going to look at the return on investment and from then it's profit. So you're, if you're planning to stick around for the long run with this game, I do recommend getting operations all the way to level 20. But if you don't plan to do that, just just don't. You're, you're just going to waste gems in the short term. But yeah, assuming you have level one operations and you're just refreshing them from time to time at least once or twice a day, let's assume 40 gems a day, right? which are, is going to mean 1,200 gems a month from the operations. Again, you can get this to a crazy amount of gems if you try hard it, but I'm not going to assume that. Now, I'm not going to go into the league window because if I do that, a lot of you will see the league code and will try to join that league. There's a link in the damn description. It says join if you need a league, feel free to click that. But we're going to talk about league check-in. On league check-in, you're going to get a few gems. I'm not going to assume your league is full and everybody's checking in. I'm going to assume that let's say between 15 and 20 people are checking in and for that amount you're going to get 15 gems a day which is 450 a month. So that's going to be just from hitting again another button on the link checking in. 
And yeah, that's about it for the minimal effort side of things. So far, I've been very cruel to you. I've put you, I've made you click on some stuff, and I've made you play one Soul Raid fight a day. Imagine that. Imagine assuming people are playing one Soul Raid fight a day. But yeah, for doing all of that hard work so far, you're going to get yourself on average, again, it depends on the operation yield, you're going to get uh, 3,850 gems a month. Which is a decent amount, but we can increase that. But this is where the uh, milestone for the minimal effort ends, and we're going to begin the medium effort milestone. Again, feel free to stop whenever you can. Let's, uh, let's move on. Okay, so as far as arena rewards go, and yes, we're getting into actually playing the damn game, imagine that, but we're going to assume Elite Four. Elite 4 should be the place that everybody tries to strive for, because in Elite 4 you're going to get the full character, and especially as a new player you should try hard to get at the very least Elite 4, and we're going to assume the Elite 4 amount of gems. The arena is going to happen two times a week, uh, which uh, means that you're going to get, uh, on average, if you assume that you're going to get Elite 4, uh, 3200 gems a month. You might look at this and be like, oh, it's too hard for me to get Elite 4 signal, what you're talking about. Well, if you put in some effort and you stick around and you keep playing Arena, eventually you're going to easily enough get Elite 4. It's not going to be the hardest thing for you in the long run. Might not be achievable in the short run, try, or try to get yourself Elite 1 at the very least so you unlock a character, but in time Elite 4 will not be an unachievable goal and will not even require that much effort, depending on your Arena. So we're assuming that if you play all the way until Elite 4, you're going to get 3200 gems. Champions Arena is something that you should be farming a lot as a new player, because in Champions Arena you're going to, generally speaking, have a much easier time than in Arena. Because Champions Arena is something that requires a lot more time investment than skill and build characters. You just need to be able to dump some time into this. And uh, I'm not grinding it anymore, you can see that I'm Division uh, 10. But when I was grinding it, I saw that's kind of the sweet spot as far as the rewards go and the effort you have to put in goes is going to be uh, Division 5 Guardian. In Division 5 Guardian, you're going to be able to stay on average with a time expenditure of 20 minutes a day, which is, as far as I'm aware, a decent amount of time investment. It's fine. It's an okay amount of time that it's required to be done here. And uh, you're going to get 1,000 gems from this. Uh, and you're going to have a few arena seasons that are going to be uh, happening monthly, for to be exact. And that's going to be 4,000 gems each month. So, now we can wrap things up for this year yet again. You're going to get a total of 11,000 gems a month with relatively minimal effort. Again, I'm not asking you to try too hard on any of the modes. I'm not asking you to watch ads for anything like that. Now we're going to move up to the next year. Okay, so as you might have seen in the title and in the thumbnail, we have the uh, gems for the previous year, the amount of gems for the previous year. And for this year, I'm not even going to bother calculating the total amount of gems. And it's just basically going to be the number that I previously said, which is 11,000, on top of which you're going to add gems depending on how hard you're down to try hard. But again, some of those practices are going to be quite unhealthy amount of do doing stuff to get gems in a video game, like go outside and touch some grass. But nevertheless, operations. Put this bad boy to 20 minutes, refreshed every single 20 minutes, has heavy at level 20, and you're going to get some gems. I'm not sure how many gems, because that's still reliant on luck, but you're going to get a lot more gems. Now, other than this, what else can you do to maximize your gem yield? Again, you can do better in Arena and Champions Arena, grind harder, you can get a lot more gems than I assumed you're gonna get in the uh, previous years. But if you go uh, to the store section or just click on this, you're also gonna have free gems. You're going to get five gems for, for each ad you watch, and it's gonna be 10 ads, so it's 50 gems a day, please. Please, get this on an emulator or sit with your phone in your head while you're watching TV. Do not actively watch the ads where you're getting the gems. But you can get 50 gems from here as well. And you can also get into the uh, paid upper wall and see what you can complete for free. The free offers, as far as I'm aware, no matter the country, are going to be pretty damn bad. Like, I, I, I think I tried it. Do we have any ongoing ones? I do think I tried something. Reward status. 
reward the expert doesn't show them on emulator actually but i actually did try some of those game type of things and uh, th the thing is the on average time investment that i had to put in that new game that i downloaded and tried to earn rewards for the game and it was at the point where it was three times rewards was around let's say uh 10 hours though don't think that i was non-stop playing 10 hours i was like watching tv it was uh, uh an auto fight type of game and i was just leaving it on auto fight but i it was 10 hours of barely paying attention to it but of it being active and i got 4000 gems for it so I, that was i think not even worth the phone battery it spends to get that amount but yeah you can get a few more gems from here and that's kind of gonna be it as far as things that you can get for free and i don't think there's anything in the special offers there's the daily pack that you can get for a chance to get some gems so you can also get this i hate this and i almost never get it because it's put in here to just look at this we got gems it's put in here right at the end of the shop so you go like this and look at all those paid money offers only to get your small shitty free pack but yeah that's about it for this video that's kind of all the ways you can gem earn gems in just mobile as free to play well that being said thanks so much for watching like the video if you liked it dislike if you liked it and i'll see you all in the next one goodbye